Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on creating an AI-powered competitor analysis alert system that's 100% automated. Whether you're looking to stay ahead of your competition, keep tabs on new products, or get notified of industry news without lifting a finger, this video has got you covered. We'll be breaking down every step so you can implement this system and start seeing results immediately. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all, thank you for coming back and a big welcome to all of our new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI sales, automation, and workflow hacks in a way that's easy to understand and apply. As always, remember everything we cover here is designed to help you succeed. These are not just theories, but actionable strategies that you can use right now. And if you're looking to take things a little further, check out our school community link below. It's packed with exclusive make.com templates, including the exact one we're using in today's tutorial. These templates are easy to import and use immediately, so you can get your automation up and running in no time. It's super easy. Just grab one of these templates, click on the three dots to import the blueprint, select the file, and hit save. All right, today we're going to set up a powerful automated system that will notify you every Monday morning of new competitor products, price changes, or any notable industry news from last week. Imagine it like this. You're sipping your morning coffee, feeling like a boss, and bam, a neatly summarized email lands in your inbox giving you all the juicy details you need to outmaneuver your competitors. No more wasting time digging through dozens of news sites, blogs, or newsletters to figure out what's going on. Instead, you get Intel delivered straight to you on a silver platter. Or, well, your inbox. If you're in sales, marketing, or any role where staying ahead of the competition is crucial, this setup can be your new secret weapon. First up on our automation journey is EnoReader. What's EnoReader, you ask? Well, think of it as your personal librarian, except this librarian doesn't just sit there waiting for you to show up. Instead, it actively goes out and grabs all the books, newspapers, and magazines you're interested in, and lines them up neatly on a shelf labeled must read. EnoReader is what we call an RSS feed aggregator. And if the term RSS feed sounds like some tech jargon, don't worry, I've got you. RSS stands for really simple syndication, and it's basically a format for delivering regularly changing web content. Think of it as a way to subscribe to websites the same way you subscribe to a YouTube channel. Instead of getting video notifications, you get updates whenever there's new content, like a new article or blog post. You can set up EnoReader to pull RSS feeds from any website that offer them, including your competitors' blogs, industry news sites, and even Google News or specific keywords. The goal here is to collect all these feeds into one place. Now that you're clear on what an RSS feed aggregator does, here's what we're going to do. Create an account on EnoReader, then set up a custom feed. This feed will be where all the magic happens. You'll add the relevant RSS feeds you need from websites you want to keep an eye on. Maybe it's a competitor's blog or an industry news site reporting the latest product launches. Once your custom feed is set up, we'll create a folder to keep things organized. Think of it like creating a playlist on Spotify, but for all the news you don't want to miss. This playlist automatically updates itself and brings you the latest hits in your industry without the annoying ads. But first, let's create a custom feed. Go to the left navigation bar, click on Add New, and then select Feed to add a new custom feed. Let's add RSS feeds for this custom feed. These can be from any website you like. To find the RSS of a specific website, simply search on Google. For example, type the company's name plus company news. So for this demo, we'll go to Google and type Apple Company News. You'll see that most companies have a newsroom where they update the latest price changes, new products, or news related to the company. Adding multiple companies to your feed gives you a well-rounded view of the industry and current trends. Copy and paste this link into EnoReader and add the feeds of the articles to your custom feed. Let's call this custom feed industry news. You can also create other feeds like general news or specific topics relevant to your industry by using keywords or categories. EnoReader gives you the flexibility to create custom feeds tailored to your needs. Now let's organize it all. Go to the left navigation bar, click on Add New, then select Folder to create a new folder. Let's call this folder Updates. Finally, attach the custom feed we just created, Industry News, to the folder called Updates. Once your folder is ready, you'll have a central hub of updates, a personal news feed that updates in real time, giving you everything you need to stay ahead. You can add more feeds to this folder as you go, and it'll keep you up to date without you having to lift a finger. All right, we're going to connect EnoReader to make.com. 
This is like hooking up your news aggregator to your automation engine. Inside Make.com, you'll want to add a new module for EnoReader. When you hear module, think of it as a building block, a little puzzle piece that informs a specific function. The module we're adding will be responsible for pulling all the news and updates from the updates folder you just created in EnoReader. The action we're going to use is called list articles. But before we dive into the module, the first thing we need to do is connect your EnoReader account to make.com. It's super easy. Just click on the add button, hit save, and you'll be prompted to a screen where you can connect your EnoReader account to make.com. Once connected, you're ready to roll. Now let's continue with the module. We'll specify the type of articles as a folder, and you'll need to enter the folder ID, which is just a fancy way of saying the name of the folder, in our case, updates. This step is like giving you your automation shopping list. Hey, automation, go to this folder and grab everything inside it. Here you can also set up how many articles you'd like to get from your feed, whether you want the latest five articles or all of them. You've got full control. This helps you avoid information overload by narrowing down the content you want to summarize. Now let's take a step further and really bring this automation to life. We're about to add some serious functionality with the Array Aggregator module. And here's the deal. The Array Aggregator is going to grab all of that data we're pulling from EnoReader, toss it into one neat list, and serve it to us like a perfectly organized buffet of information. Delicious, right? Here's how you do it. First, you'll add the Array Aggregator module. Now, don't let the name intimidate you. It's basically just a fancy way of saying, let's combine all of this stuff into one tidy list. In the module, choose Target Structure Type as Custom. Next, you're going to pick two key items under Aggregated Fields. These are the building blocks of our list. Conical. That's a techie way of saying, give me the URLs, please. This grabs the link to each article so you can click through it if you need to. Summary because no one has time to read full articles all day. This gives us the quick hit version of each article, just enough to know what's up. Now we've got all of our summaries and URLs in one place, but we're not done yet. Let's add another module and really put some polish on this workflow. Next up is the JSON module. Sounds technical, but trust me, this is where the magic happens. What this little guy does is take that beautiful list you just created and packages it into one big old text document. Think of it like wrapping all your groceries into one bag so they're easier to carry. Except in this case, it's making the data super easy for ChatGPT to read and summarize for you automatically. Pretty slick, right? Now that we've got our feeds connected and ready to be pulled in, it's time to bring in some AI power. And not just any AI, say hello to OpenAI. If you haven't heard of OpenAI, it's like the Yoda of artificial intelligence. Wise, powerful, and a bit mysterious. We'll be using ChatGPT. It can understand human language, process it, and generate responses that sound pretty much like a human who wrote them. For our purposes, we're going to use OpenAI to summarize the updates we're pulling from EnoReader. So in make.com, you'll add an OpenAI module. The action here will be create a chat completion. In order to connect your OpenAI account to make.com, here's what you'll do. Go to openai.com and scroll all the way down to find the API login. Once you're signed up or logged in, click on API to get your OpenAI homepage. Click on the dashboard in the top right corner, then on the API keys option in the left navigation bar. You'll see an option to create new secret key or something similar. Hit that button and your API key will be generated. Copy that API key and paste it into your API key field in your OpenAI module on make.com. To get your organization ID, follow the link make.com provides and copy the organization ID into the relevant field. Now let's move on to setting up our module. For our model, we'll use ChatGPT 4.0. Don't worry if ChatGPT 4.0 sounds like some name for a Star Wars droid. It's just the latest and greatest model OpenAI offers. It's fast, reliable, and can generate human-like text that's perfect for our needs. The prompt you'll use will look something like this. Summarize each article in the list in one or two sentences so I can send this as an email to myself. At the end of each article, add the URL to the article in plain text. Here's how the full prompt looks. You can find this prompt along with the entire template in our school community, which is linked below. Now let's get the data from the JSON module to this prompt so that the AI knows what content it needs to summarize. It's like giving your robot assistant a stack of reports saying, 
hey, can you boil these down for me? I don't have all day. And just like that, you've got concise, actionable summaries that you can send to yourself. All right, guys, we're nearing the finish line, and now it's time to tie everything together with a neat little bow. This is where we bring in the Gmail module in make.com. Think of this as the final piece of your automation puzzle. What this module does is take the summarized content from OpenAI and sends it directly to your inbox. It's like having your own personal assistant giving you a Monday morning briefing, except you don't have to pay them and they never take a day off. Here's how we'll do it. First, connect your Gmail account. If you're using a personal Gmail account, the kind that ends in gmail.com, there are a few extra steps that you need to go through to connect your account to make.com for free, but no worries, I've got you covered. I've attached a video in the description below from make.com. This walks you through the process step by step. It's quick and easy, and once you're done, you'll be set to automate your emails. Next, add a recipient. Click on the Add a Recipient button and type in your email address. You can even add multiple email addresses if you want to share the love and send this briefing to your team or anyone else who might benefit from it. Set the subject. In our case, the subject will be something like weekly news from our competitors. Simple, clear, and to the point. Now for the content. This is where the magic happens. The content should be the generated summary from OpenAI. To get that, go to Choices, open it up using the little arrow, then go to Message. Open that up as well and click on content to add it. Once you've set that up, you're good to go. Schedule this email to go out every Monday morning and voila, you've just built yourself an automated competitor analysis system that does all the work for you while you sit back and enjoy your coffee. All right, guys, you've set up the basics, but let's talk about some practical use cases to make the most of this automation. Picture this. You're a sales manager who wants to keep your team updated on what competitors are launching without having to bombard them with dozens of emails throughout the week. With this automation, your sales team gets a single clean email every Monday morning summarizing all the crucial updates. They walk into the week armed with information, ready to tweak their pitches or prepare counter strategies based on the latest competitor moves. This setup isn't just for sales teams though. Marketing teams can also leverage it to monitor industry trends, new marketing strategies from competitors, or even shifts in customer sentiment that are worth noting. Imagine being the first to catch on to a trend, thanks to this automation and pivoting your strategy before everyone else does. Now that's playing smart. Now, let's go a step further and talk about how you can make this automation even smarter. One way is by refining the prompts you give to the OpenAI module. Instead of just summarizing articles, you can ask it to highlight specific keywords or trends that are mentioned frequently across the articles. For example, your prompt could be summarize each article in one or two sentences and highlight any recurring trends or keywords related to pricing strategies. This way, you not only get a summary, but also an analysis of what's being talked about the most. Another tip? Consider adding a filter in EnoReader that only passes along articles that mention certain keywords like price increase, new product launch, or merger. This helps you cut through all the noise and focus on only the most impactful updates. Now, let's get into some pros and cons. On the plus side, this automation saves tons of time by cutting down manual research. No more endlessly scrolling through news feeds or visiting dozens of websites. Plus, with AI summarization, you're not just getting raw data, you're getting processed, concise, and actionable insights. The AI can even pick up on subtle details that might go unnoticed if you're skimming through the article quickly. The cons? Well, there's a bit of setup involved initially. You've got to get your feeds in place, connect them to make.com, configure the AI prompts, and set up your email templates. It takes some time to fine tune everything, but trust me, it's a one-time investment that pays off every single week. Another point to consider is the potential cost associated with using OpenAI's API, especially if you're pulling in a high volume of articles. You'll want to keep an eye on usage and possibly tweak setup to optimize the cost. Here's another advanced tip. Integrate this setup with a CRM like HubSpot or Salesforce. How would that work, you ask? Simple. Instead of sending the summaries directly to your email, you could use make.com to push those updates directly into your CRM system. This way, your sales rep have all the latest competitor news right inside the platform they use daily. You can even tag specific accounts with these updates or create tasks for reps to follow up based on the news. For example, if your competitor has launched a new product, you could create a task for your sales rep for handling that vertical to craft a counter pitch. 
Want to go further down the rabbit hole? How about setting up an additional layer of analysis using tools like sentiment analysis? You can use OpenAI to analyze the tone of each update. Is the news positive, negative, or neutral? This helps you quickly gauge whether a competitor's update is something to worry about or celebrate over. For example, if a competitor announces a product recall, that's negative sentiment, you could immediately strategize a way to position your own product as a safer alternative. That's next level automation right there. All right, let's do a quick recap. Today, we set up InnoReader to aggregate competitor and industry news. We connected it to make.com to automate the flow of information, then use OpenAPI to summarize those updates into digestible bytes. Finally, we automated an email to be sent out every Monday, giving you a complete and effortless overview of what's happening in your competitive landscape. This system is your new best friend in the battlefield for market dominance, keeping you sharp, informed, and always one step ahead. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And if you're like, Jake, this is great, but I want more, then check out our school community. It's linked below. It's packed with resources, templates, and a network of automation people just like us who love to optimize everything. And when I say everything, I mean we've got guys automating their morning stretches. Thanks for sticking around. And remember, work smarter, not harder. Keep automating, and I'll see you in the next video.